welcome to Prince Papi TV. It's a blessing to have you guys here today so that uh, we can share the word of God. We can talk about what God has put inside my heart so I can be able to share with you guys. So without taking off your time, I thank God for giving you guys a time to be here. I know it's not easy. Even five minutes, it's very crucial before God. So may God bless you for who you took this time to be here so you can listen to the word of God. And my prayer is that uh, wherever you are, may the hand of God touch you. If you're sick, I pray for the healing. If you're going through struggle, I pray that may God uh, grant you grace so that you may overcome victorious in all kind of situation you may be facing at this time. So without taking all of your time, today uh, we are going to talk about God has set a time for your healing. So there are a couple of verses here in the Bible that um, I will put on the comment section so that you guys can take a moment to read and meditate on it just to show that uh, in our daily life God already has set a time for your healing sometimes we don't realize that as a Christian that uh, in everything we go through in all the process God has his timing which is different than our timing so there are a few verses I'm going to say right now and then you guys can write down and then I will speak what God has put in my heart. There is uh, 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 5 to 19. 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 5 to 19. And uh, this is talking about Hannah in the Bible. And the last verses is Hebrews chapter 11 verse 11 i repeat hebrews 11 verse 11 and this is about abraham's faith uh, abraham and sarah so what i'm trying to share with you guys here if you will read in first samuel chapter 1 verse 5 to 19 this is to, this is the story about hannah how Hannah spent years and years and she was not able to bear a child until God perfect timing, you know. Hannah was living a life that was pleasing God. She loved God. She was serving God. She was living right. But she spent so many years before she get a son. And that's why in first Samuel, I mean first Samuel chapter 1, verse 5 to 19. You see, on God's timing, Hannah was able to conceive regardless of her age, regardless of the delay. And uh, if you read uh, in Heb Hebrews, sorry, uh, verse, uh, sorry, uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 11, and this is about, about Abraham's faith. Uh, Abraham and Sarah could not pay a child until God timing. You know, sometimes we think like uh, the reason why the things are not going right is because maybe we have sinned, maybe we have done something wrong to God, maybe we are not doing what God wants us to do. No. Sometimes you may live right. You may do what God wants you to do. Sometimes you may really please God. But God has set his timing to bless you. That's why you don't have to worry about why I'm not receiving my blessing. And this blessing I'm talking here, this blessing can be any type of blessing. Can be something, let's say, for people who are not able to conceive, they are expecting a child, for people are expecting to get a visa, for example, for people who are expecting to get permanent residence for documentation with immigration, for people expecting to pass a class in university, in high school, 
for people expecting money, for people expecting promotion at work, for people expecting, expecting, expect. The list can go on and on. You know, you know what is the blessing you're expecting God to grant you in your life. So don't be discouraged, my brother, my sister. Do not be discouraged. As long as you know that you're living the life that God wants you to live, stay strong stay firm with your faith on god's timing things will happen you see hannah has spent so many years before he got a son and that's what we see on first samuel she spent so many years but she was living right with god abraham and sarah until the old age they were still having faith that god will bless them with a child and on God's timing, the child came. So God has his timing. God has set his timing to bless you. Don't be like Abraham. Don't get to the level where you have to try your own way to think that's the way God will bless you. There is always consequences. No matter what Abraham have done with his wife, Sarah, to try to see if they can have a child, still God proved them that regardless what you guys have done, I have promised for you and I will fulfill my promise. And God showed them that he was God. Who knows when is the right time to bless them with a child and at the right time, Abraham and Sarah, they were able to receive a child, no matter how old they were. And you know, God, how faithfulness he is. At the end of the day, he blessed Abraham. You know, he blessed Abraham to be a father of the nations. So don't be discouraged. Today, God wants to remind you and I, don't be discouraged in every situation you're going through. It's not because you're a sinner. It's not because you are cursed. It's not because you have done something wrong to God. No. Always remember, Hannah, she spent years before she got a child. Abraham and Sarah, they spent years until they were getting very old. But God has fulfilled their promise that he has for their lives. That means God has set a timing for the blessing of each individual on earth. You and I, we're on the same category. God wants you to stay strong, keep your faith, keep praising Him, keep serving Him. Do not be discouraged. Even on the last minute, God will show a miracle and He will fulfill what He has promised to your life. May God bless you. If this message has blessed you, share with your loved one, share with your friends one, and remind them that God's still alive. And he's going to fulfill the promise. Do not be scary. God loves you and he knows the right time to bless you and I. God bless you and thank you for watching Prince Papi TV. Bye-bye.